Hi team, happy Thursday, hope you're all doing really well. Um, at today's workout, you're gonna give yourself um, a 30 minute time cap, um, working to 40 or 50 seconds of work, giving yourself 50, 10 to 15 seconds of rest um, each round. So kind of, it's 30 rounds of work, but we're gonna, we're gonna break it up into 10, um, into 10 different moves. Um, so it's gonna be an ascending ladder. So your first move, which is why I'm starting down on the floor, is going to be a Turkish get up. So um, options here, um, if you're, if this is not a move that you are too familiar with, I wouldn't worry about whether you've got a weight or not. Um, if it is something that you're that you're more familiar with and you feel like you've got an appropriate weight that you can use, um, not something that's that's too heavy, um, then absolutely go for it. If it's not something that you're familiar with, don't worry about whether you've got a weight or not, um, because we just want to get into um, get into the move itself. It's a really good kind of total body movement. So let's have a look um, at the Turkish get up. So I'm going to start with my right leg bent, which means if I've got a weight, I'm going to hold it in my right hand. I am not going to do it with a weight. Um, you're going to keep the left leg long, you're going to lie down and your left arm is going to go to the side of you. So imagining you've got a weight in this right hand. As I say, if you haven't, it's not the end of the world. What we want to do, try and do is keep our eye gaze on this lifted hand. You're going to use your left arm as well, your spare arm. Bring yourself up to a seat. Um, and it, like I say, using the spare arm, push yourself up into a sort of, it's almost a half plank, um, almost a side plank. Then your left leg is gonna come underneath you, so you're in this half kneeling position. You're then gonna use the right leg, push yourself up to standing, that's half a rep, um, and then you're gonna go back down in exactly the same way. So your left leg is gonna come down, use your spare arm, bring that left hand down to the floor, maybe just just the right leg if you need to, that um, left leg is gonna come from underneath you, back into that side plank position, sit the hips down, and then lie yourself down. So in that, uh, for this first round, you're gonna do 10 Turkish get-ups. So five reps on each side. As I say, if you've not got a weight, it's not the end of the world. I want you to get used to the movement first of all. Wherever you are, aim to keep your eye gaze up on that hand. And also, you will have uh, one side that feels better than the other. So, and you're definitely gonna start on your stronger side. So don't be alarmed if you start on one side and you get to the other side and you think, what am I doing? Like you do almost kind of have to, have to relearn it on the other side, which is exactly why I'll be honest, I've shown it you on the side I did because that's the first side that I wanna to go to. So five on one side, five on the other. If, like I say, it's something that you're familiar with, try and start on the side that feels a little bit more awkward. Don't, um, so you've kind of got that, you've got that side out of the way. So that's your first exercise, 10 Turkish get-ups, working 45 to 50 seconds, taking 10 to 15 seconds of rest, just so you're getting that little bit of recovery and you're not consist constantly working. So 10 Turkish get-ups. Second exercise, we're gonna go for 20 dead bugs. So line yourself back down. Again, if you have a weight here, do feel free to use it. We're gonna lift the knees up above the hips. The feet are gonna stay in line with the knees. We're gonna elevate the hands so they're above the shoulders and then opposite arm to opposite leg, so left arm, Right leg extends away and draw back in and then switch. So lower back staying pretty close to the floor. The knees are going to try and stay directly above the hips as you're moving. If the knees start to creep forwards um, above the hips, just try and push them away. We want to keep that deep core engagement throughout those dead bugs. Um, so 20 reps in total. Your 30 rep move, can you see where this is going? Your 30 rep move is going to be hand these press ups. So we'll turn ourselves over onto knees or toes, bodies nice and long, blow yourself down nice and steady, release the hands for half a second, push back up in one long unit. If you are finding that you're starting to make that kind of, um, that caterpillar on the way down, so we're sort of dropping the hips and then lowering the chest here, what you're gonna do instead is drop to the knees, then lower the chest, lift the chest, and then lift the knees. So you're just breaking that movement down a little bit more uh, for that hand release press up. Your 40 rep exercise, we're staying down on the floor, is gonna be sit ups. So we're gonna butterfly the legs here, take the hands all the way back, sit yourself up, hands either to the tops of your trainers or to just outside of your feet, shoulders coming forwards of the hips as you come up. 
So that is your uh, 40 rep move, your butterfly sit-ups. So coming into our 50 rep move, uh, we're gonna take burpees. What a good job we're breaking this movement down into 45 seconds of work. Um, so a couple of options for your burpees. Um, first one um, is gonna be a basic burpee. Push back into plank. Stand tall. I'm just trying to be careful because this floor is slippy. And my feet slipped as I went out just then. So take a basic burpee, um, just coming down into plank. If um, you're feeling a little bit more energetic or, you know, you love a chest to floor burpee, then that's gonna be your second option. Chest and thighs all the way down. Stand back up, little jump at the top. So 50 burpees. Again, you know, it's not a small volume of burpees, so you might wanna um, take one round where you're just coming back into plank. The next round you'll, come, um, you'll do chest to floor. Remember, you are breaking it down into 45 to 50 seconds of work. For 60 reps, you're gonna take a lunge and a twist. Now, if you have a weight here, again, do feel free to use it. Anything weighted, though, that you can hold um, is, is gonna be useful here, though, if you, um, if you don't have a proper weight. So, feet about hip distance apart. Nice long stride forwards. Twist towards that front leg. Come back to center. And push hard out of this front heel. Other side. Turn towards the front knee. Twist back and revert back to your start position. So really use that front heel to push yourself back. So we're getting into those glutes um, and that back knee, just as close to the floor as you can. Don't worry too much about bringing it down to the floor. I feel as though um, if it is on the floor, you're gonna rest <laughs> as you twist. What we wanna do is keep that work through the legs. So take that twist, push back hard through that front heel. So that's your 60 rep move, is your lunge and twist. So for 70 reps, um, I've actually got four options here, so um, hopefully covering all the bases as to whether you're working with weights or whether you are not. Um, so we're getting into the upper back. Um, so option one, if you have loop bands, um, ideally these, um, the kind of latexy ones or the plasticky ones rather than the fabric ones, and the fabric ones are super duper hard, um, especially if you're doing a move such as this. So you will loop it around one foot, and we're just doing like a bent over row. So stagger your feet slightly, chest angle down towards the floor, nice and strong through the core, spine long. Start with your palm facing your leg, twist the palm um, through to face the side as you pull up and that elbow is gonna lift high and draw your shoulder blade into your spine. So if you're working with a loop band, um, then you're gonna take 35 reps on each arm to make the 70 reps. If you have, uh, a weighted object that is not a dumbbell. So if you're using a rucksack, um, a kettlebell maybe, um, something that isn't a dumbbell, then you're gonna take a bent over row. So we're taking the feet again about hip distance apart, just lower the chest, um, hinge from the hips, and then either one arm at a time or you go both together, take 70 on each arm, depending on what weight you're using, drawing the shoulder blades into the spine and really getting these set up for back. If you have a long band, so if you have none of that, but you do have a long band, then you can loop this around your feet, sit up nice and tall, and then the closer that you start holding this band towards your feet, the harder you're gonna make this, drawing the elbows back, shoulder blades into spine again, so we're just getting into the upper back with this band. Ideally here, this exercise is gonna be a renegade row. So if you do have dumbbells or something that is um, appropriate for you to be in this position, you're gonna take your plank, body nice and long, hands around the dumbbells, draw the dumbbell up towards your hip, hand comes down. And the same on the other side. So if you're not working with dumbbells, but you have weights, take a bent over row. If you've got your loop bands, those are your options. If you do have dumbbells, ideally, we're gonna take that renegade row. And that's 70 reps. For your 80 reps, again, two options here. If you have um, a kettlebell or something which you can swing, then you're gonna take swings, 80 reps. Feet about hip distance, send the weight just back slightly through the legs, squeeze the glutes, and hands just a little bit higher than shoulders, maybe all the way overhead if that's available to you. Um, if you don't have a weight, we still wanna be getting into um, those same sorts of muscle groups that uh, the swings do. The only thing we're gonna lose is that little bit of upper body work. Uh, we're gonna take a Kang squat. So we've done, done these a few times actually. Feet about hip distance apart. First of all, we're hinging. 
So we're getting into the hamstrings. We're then going to take a squat. So we lift the chest, push the hips back, and lift. So that four stage, four stage move. Push back, hinging, sink down into your squat, push back to the hinge, and then lift the chest. So eight two reps, either swings or kang squats. So your last two exercises, 90 reps and then into 100. Um, for your 90, it's gonna be mountain climbers. So we're, and it's just one for one. Each repetition is one rep. Don't worry about a two for one. Um, so 90 climbers. Again, body's nice and long. You can walk. Or run your knees in towards your chest. 90 mountain climbers. We finish with body weight, just body weight, unless you're absolutely desperate to use weight, just your squat. So feet about hip distance, toes are gonna to be slightly turned out just to where they're comfortable. Breaking the hip crease at the bottom, if that is available to you. If not, just coming down to a depth that feels comfortable for you. So finishing off with those 100 squats, keeping the chest nice and lifted. So 10 up to 100, work to 45, 50 seconds, Take those 10, 15 seconds of rest just to kind of, to break it up so you've not always got like a huge, um, a huge amount of work in front of you and then you just pick up where you left off. So in the first round, you've got 10 Turkish get-ups. In that first 45 seconds, if you get to five, you'll start again on your sixth and so on um, as you move through. If you finish uh, one of those exercises in the middle of your 45 seconds, just go on to the next. So you're just going to keep moving through all of those exercises, 45 to 50 seconds of work, 10, 15 seconds of rest, setting a 30 minute timer. So your goal is to get this completed within 30 minutes. Um, this is something which I have done pre-lockdown um, in one of my classes. Um, so, and I know that it's, it can be done within 30 minutes. So what I would say then is you've got a couple of options. You can either finish there once you've reached 100 and you can stop and you've done it in, you know, 28, 27 minutes, however long it's taken you. Your second option is to go back to the start. You finish your 100 body weight squats, you start again with the 10 Turkish get ups and you start and you get as far through as you can. Um, I did have somebody who got into uh, the burpees for a second time, um, so maybe you use that as a target. Uh, the third option is once you've completed your squats, is that you reverse and you start to go back down the ladder. So you've done your 90 climbers, 100 body weight squats, back into 90 climbers, down to 18, 70 and so on. And again, see how far you get, but you're reversing the ladder. So there's your Thursday workout for this week. I um, hope you enjoy. Um, and as I say, I hope you're doing really well. And I will see you next week.